Hey guys, this is David. This is Two Minute Tuesday. And uh, let's just forget all the, the extra added stuff. I know some of you would be sad about that, but let's just get started right now. Right now, you are living in one of the greatest times to evangelize. How do you evangelize and reach people in this time? Number one, talk to people. Just talk to them about their life. Like, have conversations. Uh, me and my family, we were out taking a walk the other day, and uh, this lady had some dogs, and as we're talking about these dogs, the lady starts crying, and just starts, I mean, just, you can see tears just start streaming down her face, and it wasn't an emotional conversation by any means, just an opportunity uh, to just share Jesus with her. Right now, there's so much uncertainty, so much anxiety, so much fear in people's hearts that they are needing more. And the Bible calls Jesus the hope of the nations. And guess what? The hope of the nations lives in you. Number two, take the opportunities in front of you and pray for people. Not for later. Don't just say, I'm going to pray for you. Hey, if it's pain in their body, say, hey, can I just pray for you right now? And believe that God's going to heal them right then. And then ask them, hey, uh, test out your back or move your shoulder around or move your neck. That's where they're having that injury or Hey, check your migraine. Like, do you feel feel any pain? So many times, I have seen people just after prayer, God has touched them, and their pain decreases from like say six to a two, or complete it completely disappears. And that's just Jesus doing the work again. It's His Holy Spirit that's ready to open up the hearts of people. And then number three, keep your eyes on Him. And I've said this so many times because I'm noticing in this world, especially within the church, we are so focused on lesser kingdoms. We are focused on so many other things around us, and not that those things are important, but those are not the one thing that matters the most. Jesus said when Mary washed, uh, wiped his feet, she said, this one thing will not be taken from her. It was the thing that mattered the most. And guys, uh, the way you can see the opportunities around you, the way you can just hear from the Holy Spirit as you're talking to people, as you're praying for them, is that your eyes and your gaze are set on Jesus. I talked about it uh, last week. If you haven't seen that video, you can just click over here. Uh, but I believe that these three things, uh, as you do these things, you will see the harvest is ready and people will come to Jesus because the expansion of his kingdom there is no end guys this is two minute Tuesday I hope it blessed you I hope it encouraged you I apologize for not doing all the, the hype in the beginning I know some of you again are sad as am I but I just wanted to just share this video quickly with you um, listen if it ministered to you let me know love you all talk to you later